Hey, my friends, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. My name's Chris. I'm the Batman Statue Collector here on YouTube, and we have an incredible review here on the channel, one I didn't actually think that we would actually do here, but it's all thanks to Collector Amir, who sent in this incredible footage of his Terminator half scale from Prime One Studio. Now, this piece is incredible. There's some controversy surrounding the head sculpt, so I'm curious as to what I think about this piece, and that's exactly what Amir wanted me to do. He wanted me to share my thoughts on this piece, so that's exactly exactly what we are going to do today with this review to kind of check it out and see what we think and I'm also going to give you of course Amir's thoughts on the piece as well what he thinks about it and so without further ado let's review this guy all right guys so here we go we're gonna dive right in and again this is a monster of a piece it is half scale and of course it is from the first Terminator film this is T-800 and there, there are basically two different versions that we're going to be looking at today. Um, I know uh, from Amir, he said that this piece is very, very impressive. He was very, very happy overall with this piece. Um, this does feature silicone heads. And that is the first time I think that Prime 1 has ever used silicone heads as far as I know. Obviously, a real fabric material. The coat is pleather. And uh, he said that the, it feels like a good quality material. Um, I believe that they went back and, and offered a really expensive leather jacket for this, um, which I, I don't know, I feel like is a little bit tacky to me. Um, I wish it just had included the leather to begin with. But I guess it is an, a great upgrade if you so choose. Um, so basically, again, there are two different versions. So what we're looking at here is the regular version. This is a limited edition of 200, and it retails for 2,000, basically 2,300. Um, and so it does, you know, have a high price point which I do think is pretty fair considering, you know, it's pretty comparable to other half scales. Um, obviously this one being the silicone, and it does have a light up feature in the head, which is also pretty cool. Um, I think the likeness is good. Again, this is from the first film. So obviously it's, you know, a little less Arnold to me uh, than the, like the T2 versions. Um, but I still think the profile looks good. I think the overall sculpt looks good. And again, uh, Amir was very, very happy with overall with the way it looks. Um, it does also have that light up feature. Um, in the eye, which is very cool. Now, the uh, the deluxe version basically uh, has a limited edition of 400, and it retails for 3,000. Okay, so again, you're paying quite a bit more for that second silicone head. You can take off the glasses with the regular, and here you go. There's that exposed eye, which I think looks good. Again, it, it's a younger Arnold, so it's not perfect. And again, I feel like with the glasses, it looks way more like him than without. But I still feel like that does capture that early Arnold look. I'm just not a big fan of these silicone heads. Um, this is the other version here. This is that LE uh, 400. Again, you have you know a more detailed portrait if you want to have that displayed. And again, it does have the two silicone heads um, as opposed to just the regular here. So again, that's $3,000 versus 2300 and that basically just means you're gonna to have to weigh it out. Like, which one do you prefer? And do you prefer the silicone? Again, silicone is not my favorite in terms of these half scales or, um, you know, third scales, but they are what they are. Either you love it or you don't, and it's up to you. Now, as far as I know, this is uh, on waitlist at Sideshow. Uh, you can jump on that if you want. I will put the link down below, and I think it is also available at Prime One still. But overall, I think it's a cool piece. Again, half scale is not my scale. But I think it's cool if you love the Terminator series and you want to add something with a lot of presence. Um, Amir did say that he has the Queen Studios bus, so that's why he didn't feel like he needed the deluxe. But he's really happy with it, and I'm really happy that he's happy. And again, thanks, Amir, for sending us this incredible footage. So, collectors, as always, I'm going to turn it back over to you. What do you guys think about this piece from Prime One Studio? It is pricey. It is massive, of course, half scale. And half scale isn't necessarily my favorite scale, for sure. I do prefer third. But I'm curious as to what you guys think. What do you guys think of this head sculpt? What do you guys think of the price point and how it actually turned out? I'm really curious to hear your thoughts. Anyway, I just want to thank Amir again for sending in the footage. And again, if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up to Amir. That really does help our channel out. And again, just thank you so very much for taking time out of your day to check out the video today. Hope you're all doing fantastic out there. We have so much new content coming your way. So again, just thank you so very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you right here in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.